sequence now see a sequence is a collection list of numbers arranged in definite order according to some definite rule now let's see first some examples of sequence with the help of this examples we can understand what is a sequence now see first example of sequence is see some numbers are given 1 5 9 13 now see these numbers are arranged in definite order according so according to some definite rule now try to understand what is relation between these numbers now see this is example of sequence now see some numbers are there first number is 1 second is 5 third is 9 13 etc etc now see each number in the sequence is called as term of the sequence see it is called as each number is called as term so it is denoted by small t the number in the first position see the number in the first position is first term so it is denoted by t1 that means here t1 is equals to 1 the number in the second position is second term so it is denoted by t2 now see how you will get this t2 see t2 is 5 and t1 is 1 that means t2 is equals to 1 plus 4 that is equals to 5 that means in first term if you add 4 you will get the second term now observe this third term t3 again if you add 4 to second term that is t2 you will get 9 5 plus 4 now see you can observe what is relation between terms of this sequence see they are arranged in definite rule so this is known as sequence now we can observe t4 will become t3 plus 4 that is 9 plus 4 30 so these are the terms of the sequence let's see one more example 4 8 16 32 now first term t1 is known as 4 now we can observe second term t2 is equals to 8 which is equals to 4 into 2 so t2 is first term into 2 now we can observe third term t3 if you multiply 8 by 2 you will get 16 that means t3 is equals to 8 into 2 16 if you multiply this 16 by 2 you will get fourth term that means t4 is equals to 16 into 2 that's equals to 32 so in this way this is also example of sequence based on sequence now see the first question for each sequence see it is a sequence it is given find the next four terms some terms are given with the help of this term we have to first observe relation between the terms what is relation between that terms and we have to find the next four term now see first term t1 is equals to 1 now see second term is 2 third term is 4 Seventh is the fourth term, and fifth term is eleven. You have to find next fourth term. That means, see, till T five are given, we have to find T six, T seven, T eight, and T nine. Now, first try to understand relation between T one and T two. Now, see, T two is equals to two. That means T one plus T two. T1 plus 1, so 1 plus 1, you will get T2. Now we can observe T3 is equals to 4, right? That is T2 plus 2, so 2 plus 2, it is equal to 4. Now we can observe T5 is equals to 4 plus 3, that is equals to T3. Plus three. See the relation. That means we will get T four. 
now we can observe t5 is equals to t4 plus 4 that is 7 plus 4 is equals to 11 now you can find the next term t6 it will become t5 plus 5 now t5 is 11 and 11 plus 5 you will get 16 so t6 is equals to t5 plus 5 that is 11 plus 5 16 now we can very easily find t7 that is t6 plus 6 16 plus 6 is equals to 22 now we can find t8 t7 plus 7 that is 22 plus 7 which is equals to 29 one more term is required that is t9 which is equals to t8 plus 8 29 plus 8 is equals to 37 so we have the next four terms of the given sequence are 16 22 29 and 37 in this way student first you have to observe relation between given sequence what is the relation between t1 t2 t2 t3 t3 t4 and with the help of that relation we have to find next four terms so that we are going to solve question number two see the sequence 3 9 27 81 four terms are given we have to find next four terms now we can observe t1 is equals to 3 see that is 3 raised to 1 now if you observe t2 will become 3 square that is 9 t3 will become 3 cube 3 raised to 3 that will become 27 and t4 is 3 raised to 4 that is 81 that means t5 is 3 raised to 5 it will become 243 t6 will become 3 raised to 6 729 that means to find this t6 5 that is 3 raised to 5 to multiply it by 3 you will get t6 now t7 is 3 raised to 7 729 into 3 it will get 2187 and t8 is equals to 3 raised to 8 that is 6561 in this way the next four terms of the given sequence are 243 729 2187 and 6561 see by finding relation between t1 t2 3 t3 and t4 we can find next four terms see the next question from question number one question number three the given sequence is 1 3 7 5 7 15 31 see again one more question first we have to find relation between this t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 and then we can find out next four terms so t1 one so t2 is equals to see we can see t2 is equals to 3 that is 1 plus 2 now we can observe t3 is 7 right you will get this t3 7 that is equals to 3 plus 2 square that is 4 that means t2 plus 2 square now see t4 is 15 now we have t3 7 7 plus we can say 8 and 8 means 2 root cube so this 4 term t4 is equals to t3 plus 2 cube now we can observe t5 31 which is equals to 15 plus 16 that is 2 raised to 4 t4 plus 2 raised to 4 now we can write for t6 that is t5 plus 2 raised to 5 t5 is 31 and 2 raised to 5 is 32 so you will get 63 as a sixth term now t7 will become t6 plus 2 raised to 6 that is 63 plus 64 127 t8 will become t7 plus 2 raised to 7 that is 127 plus 128 
255. Now we have to find one more term T9. T8 plus 2S to 8 that is 255 plus 256 you will get 511. See in this way we have next four terms of the given sequence are 63, 127, 255 and 511. So see remember student first five to first try to find out relation between the given terms in the sequence then you can able to find the next four terms. See question number four. See 192 next minus 96 48 minus positive negative numbers are given. Now see T1 is 192. Now we can observe if you divide this 192 upon 2 you will get 96. But see student we require minus 96 na? that means we have to divide by minus 2 that means T2 is equals to 192 upon minus 2. Now if you divide this 96 by 2 you will get 48 next term that means T3 will become T2 upon minus 2 that is minus 96 upon minus 2 that is 48. Now T4 will become 48 upon minus 2 that is minus 24. So T5 will become minus 24 upon minus 2 that is 12. T6 will become 12 upon minus 2 that is minus 6. T7 will become minus 6 upon minus 2 that is equals to 3. And T8 will become 3 upon minus 2 that is minus 3 upon 2. So we have the next four terms of the sequence are 12 minus 6, 3 and minus 3 upon 2. So these are the next four terms of the given sequence. See the next question from question number 1, question number 6. Again it is one mark question. Now see how the numbers are given. Very interesting. First one point 0.1, second one point 0.1. 0, 1, third one point zero zero one point zero 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 one. You have to find next four terms. So see first term is T1 which is point 0.1 we can say it is 1 upon 10. Second term is point zero 0.01 which is 1 upon 10 square. 10 square is 100. So T3 will become 1 upon 10 cube. 10 cube is 1000 so it is 0 0.001 now T4 will become 1 upon 10 raised to 4 that is 10 raised to 4 is 10,000 no? so 0 0.0001 so T5 will become see this 0 will get increasing no? So T5 will become 1 upon 10 raised to 5 that is 0 0.00001. T6 will become 1 upon 10 raised to 6 that is 0 0.00001. See similarly you can write T7 1 upon 10 raised to 7 which is equals to 0 0.00001. And the last T8 1 upon 10 raised to 8 that is point zero 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 one. So in this way we can write the next four terms of given sequence are point zero 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 one. Next num point zero 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 one. Similarly you can write the next four terms. See question number 8 from this question, minus 25, minus 23, minus 29, minus 19. So first T1 is minus 25. Now we can observe, you will get this T2 minus 25 plus 2. See it is minus 23, na? so minus 25 plus 2. That means T1 plus 2. So you can observe, again this T3 will become T2 plus 2 that is minus 23 plus 2 minus 21. Now T4 will become 
minus 21 plus 2 that is minus 19 t3 plus 2 so we can find next term t5 t4 plus 2 that is minus 19 plus 2 minus 17 t6 t5 plus 2 minus 17 plus 2 minus 15 t7 t6 plus 2 that is minus 15 plus 2 minus 13 and last number t8 t7 plus 2 minus 13 plus 2 that is minus 11 the next four terms of the given sequence are minus 17 minus 15 minus 13 and minus 11 see in this way we can find the next four terms see the question number 10 1 upon 2, 1 upon 6, 1 upon 18, 1 upon 54 are the given numbers terms in sequence. First term is 1 upon 2. Now see again we can observe there is change in denominator only. Now see what is that change. You will get T2 1 upon 6 that is 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 3. That is T1 into 1 by 3. Now we can observe T3 1 upon 18 that is 1 by 6 into 1 by 3. So T2 into 1 by 3. Now we can observe T4 is equals to 1 upon 54 into 1 upon 3 that is T3 into 1 by 3. Now we can get T5 as T4 into 1 upon 3. 1 upon 54 into 1 upon 3 that is 1 upon 162. So we have T6 T5 into 1 by 3 that is 1 upon 162 into 1 upon 3 1 upon 486. T7 T6 into 1 upon 3 1 upon 486 into 1 upon 3 that is 1458. T8 is equals to T7 into 1 upon 3 that is 1 upon 1458 into 1 upon 3 so 1 upon 4374 so the next four terms of the given sequence are 1 upon 162 1 upon 486 1 upon 1458 and 1 upon 4374 see in this way with the help of given sequence, first try to find out relation between terms of the sequence. You can find the next four terms. Find the first five terms of the following sequence whose n terms are given. n term is given, we have to find first five terms. See question number one, tn is equals to 4n minus 3. See, now we have to find first five terms of this sequence so let us start with the t1 t1 that means n is equals to 1 so we have to put n is equals to 1 t1 will become 4 into 1 minus 3 that is 4 minus 3 1 n is equals to 2 so t2 will become 4 into 2 minus 3 that is 8 minus 3 5 n3 will become t3 that is 4 into 3 minus 3 4 into 3 is 12 12 minus 3 9 n4 that is t4 is equals to 4 into 4 minus 3 16 minus 3 that is equals to 13 and n5 will become t5 4 into 5 minus 3 20 minus 3 that is 17 so the first five terms of the sequence are 1 5 9 13 and 17 very simple question see the next one from same question number 2 question number 4 tn is equals to n square minus 2n we have to find first five terms so let us start with the first put n is equals to 1 you will get t1 1 square minus 2 into 1 1 square is 1 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 n is equals to 2 so t2 will become 2 square minus 2 into 2 2 square is 4 4 minus 4 0 n is equals to 3 that means t3 will become 3 square minus 2 into 3 3 square 9 2 into 3 6 
9 minus 6 is 3. n is equals to 4. Therefore, t4 is equals to 4 square minus 2 into 4. 4 square is 16. And 2 into 4 is 8. So, 16 minus 8 is 8. n is equals to 5. Therefore, t5 is equals to 5 square minus 2 into 5. 5 square is 25. 25 minus 10 that is equals to 50. So, we have first 5 terms of the sequence minus 1, 0, 3, 8 and 15. See student, you have to substitute value of the n. Then you will get first 5 terms of the sequence. See one more question. Question number 6. Tn is equals to 1 upon n plus 1. Now we have to find first 5 terms. So put the value of n. n is equals to 1. So t1 will become 1 upon 1 plus 1, 1 upon 2. t2 will become 1 upon 2 plus 1 is equals to 1 upon 3. Now for t3 n is equals to 3. So 1 upon 3 plus 1 is equals to 1 upon 4 n is equals to 4 so t4 is equals to 1 upon 4 plus 1 that is 1 upon 5 n is equals to 5 therefore t5 is equals to 1 upon 5 plus 1 that is 1 upon 6 therefore the first five terms of the sequence are 1 upon 2 1 upon 3 1 upon 4 1 upon 5 and 1 upon 6 so in this way we have first five terms sum of the first n terms of a sequence sum of the first n terms of the sequence see if tn is the sequence then we can denote sum of the first n terms of this sequence by sn see we can denote sum of the first n terms by sn that means for example there are tn terms then we can say sn is equals to t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus tn that means up to we have to consider tn now with the help of this see if we have t1 as a s1 then you will get t2 s2 minus s1 t3 s3 minus s2 so we have very important formula tn is equals to sn minus sn minus 1 sn term minus we have to take sn minus 1 what is sn it is sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence you have to take sn minus sn minus 1 find the first three terms of the sequences for which sn is given now see tn is not given we have sn sn is equals to n square into n plus 1 now with the help of this sn n square into n plus 1 first we are going to calculate s1 so s1 will become t1 so s1 is equals 1 square into 1 plus 1 2 so s1 will become 2 now let's see next this s1 is equals to t1 now we are going to calculate s2 so s2 will become 2 square into bracket 2 plus 2 2 square is 4 4 into 3 is 12 so t2 is equals to now see t2 will become s2 minus s1 that is 12 minus 2 10 next we have to calculate t3 for t3 we can use formula s3 minus s2 so let us calculate first s3 3 square into 3 plus 1 that is 36 3 square is 9 9 into 3 9 into 3 plus 1 that is 9 into 4 36 so t3 will become s3 minus s2 36 minus 12 is equals to 24 
So we have first three terms of the given sequences 2, 10, 24. So with the help of Sn, first we have to calculate T1, that T1 will become equals to S1. Then we can calculate S2. With the help of this S2, you can get T2, next T3. See one more example. Find the first three terms of the sequence for which Sn is given. Now see the Sn. N into bracket N plus 1 into 2N plus 1 upon 6. So this Sn is given. First we have to calculate S1. That is 1 into 1 plus 1. Second bracket 2 into 1 plus 1 upon 6. Now see 1 plus 1, 2. In second bracket we'll, we will get 3. So 2 into 3 is 6, 6 upon 6 is 1. So this is S1. So this S1 is equals to T1. So our first term is 1. Now let calculate S2. 2 into bracket 2 plus 1. 2 into 2 plus 1. So see in first bracket 3, 3 into 2 is 6, 6, 6 get cancelled. In second bracket 2 into 2, 4 plus 1 is 5. So S2 is 5. So we can find T2, S2 minus S1, 5 minus 1 that is equals to 4. Now to calculate T3, first we have to find S3. 3 into bracket 3 plus 1. Second bracket 2 into 3 plus 1. So 3 plus 1, 4. 4 threes are 12. Right? So 12 upon 6 you will get 2. And in second bracket we have 7. So 7 to the 14. So T3 will become S3 minus S2. That is 14 minus 5, 9. So we have first three terms of the sequence. 1, 4 and 9. So in this way by using SN we can calculate first three terms.